What's up guys, my name is Victor and I created this video to help you decide for yourself if you are a light worker. I have compiled seven different uh, indicators that'll let you know very clearly and obviously if you are a light worker. Now I first wanna preface this with light workers are not special, okay? We're just people who happen to be waking up in this mass awakening that the planet's going through. We're the ones waking up first. So number one, you know you're different. I don't, you know, most people, they, they, everyone kind of in a sense thinks they're different. A light worker knows they're different. They know that they are vastly different than other people in almost every imaginable way. That you just have a, a knowing like, wow, I don't fit in. I don't understand people in general. I don't feel like I, I don't feel very attached to like this earth plane. I don't fit in with my families. I don't fit in with my co-workers you just don't fucking fit in and it's not because of like uh some kind of social you know it, you're not like socially inept it's not so much that it's just that you just have a knowing that you're different number two you despise all of the rigid systems on the planet for example like the governments the, the patriarchal nature of of things religion these things are like nails on a chalkboard you can't stand the idea or even anyone telling you what to do something you you need to go be doing this you should be doing this that kind of shit drives you fucking crazy because you know yourself as a soul to be free to be eternal whether consciously or not you have this feeling so that, again someone telling you you should do something it just creates such a strong repulsion such a strong reaction because it just does it's like the it does not resonate. It does not compute with you. It does not make sense to you that you need to be doing something. Number three, you have a strong desire to help people that you can't stand. You, I know myself, I don't particularly, on, on one level, I don't like people. I, I would live happily by myself in the woods. I have a loving family who are like light worker type people too, but I don't like people. I, I, I don't understand them, and yet, I feel compelled, my heart wants to help them. And I know that's, that's like one of the natures of a light worker. We, that's why our souls chose to wake up first because we knew we would be guides and help and help the other people who are waking up kind of after us. It's a funny situation because again, we don't like people. We don't wanna be around people and yet our heart bleeds for them. We, uh, we have moments of just uh, uh, complete empathy and compassion and love for them and we're here to help them and we want to help them. Now, oftentimes, especially if you're newly waking up, you don't know how to help them yet. You want to so badly, but you just don't know how. And for just a little side note, just allow your process to unfold. The, the, the way in which you help people will come to you when the time is right. A lot of, the, a lot of it has to do with us getting our own ducks in a row, getting our own awakening kind of going, and then we can help people. But if we're like in the midst of our own chaos, we're not gonna be much help to people just yet. With all that said, step four, we have a strong desire to get the fuck out of here. We don't wanna be here. We don't like the people, we don't like the energy, we don't like the systems, we don't like it here. It's hostile, it's hostile territory. It's very controlling and very stifling. There's no room for our spirit to soar like our soul wants to do. And we're just kind of stuck here in this psychotic fucking fear driven place. And we don't want to be here. We're not afraid of death. We're not afraid of the other side. In fact, many of us have even had encounters with our angels, with our guides, with people who, are, who have passed over, with other energies and dreams. We, we want to go back. We don't want to be here. So if you don't want to be here, welcome to the club. <laughs> Number five, we, we can almost not even barely, we can barely handle all of the fear, the hate, and the negativity in the world. It, it makes us so sad. It's so confusing to us how people treat each other and just the, the, the degree of hate and fear and sadness, it really eats us up. We feel it on a physical level. It's so intense for us we're, because we're more aware of it. We, we, we are not living and dilly-dallying on the surface of like, reality like most people we have come into ourselves into our knowingness and our consciousness is very expansive and we see more of the moment more of the pain more of the anguish that people live with and it hurts us 
It's devastating to see that. It's very intense because our spirit has come from like a divine realm in heaven or whatever you want to call it. And now we're here and we have a memory, a soul memory, whether it's conscious or not, of what it's like to be on the other side. And it's just so pull, it's so diametrically opposed and different than what it's like here. And it's just so intense. Number six, we're comfortable with words like fourth density, spiritual awakening. We're comfortable discussing aliens, channeling, psychic abilities, telepathy, Illuminati, fifth dimension. All that makes sense to us. We know what all that shit is. <laughs> Seven, we know where we are building and moving and awaiting something massive. This awakening process, we're still like, we're kind of like, we're unable to see the forest from the trees, sort of, so to speak. But we can, we have this knowing, this feeling, this intuition that something profound is going to happen. So this, we're we're living on the on the threshold of something incomprehensible by our minds. Our, we we feel it, but we don't know how it's going to unfold. We don't even know what quite it is. We're just kind of doing our best to observe what's occurring within our own selves and within what we see in the, you know, out there in the world, but we know that this is this is nothing. We're all still in the midst of this awakening process. We're not like all awake yet doing our thing. We don't have clarity consistently at most of us anyway. But it's coming. We can feel it. It's getting closer by the fucking day. You know this. And this, this anticipation is what drives us, what keeps us going through all of the hurdles, through all of the purging of our density as our vibration adjusts to these new energies. It's so intense and so challenging, so arduous, but we know it's gonna be worth it on some level. Even sometimes when our minds think it's not gonna be worth it, we know in our soul, in our gut, so I hope those seven signs kind of gave you guys a little bit of insight into yourselves. Again, if, if you're watching a video titled <laughs> Seven Signs, if you're a light worker, you're probably a freaking light worker, okay? Non-light worker people are not going to be looking or even aware that a video like this exists, okay? So welcome. You're one of the helpers. So wake up. It's time to wake up because there's a lot of work to be done. We're not, we're not, this is not over yet. This is just beginning. We're barely even like out of the first phase. We're all still going through our own awakening process. We're all still sorting out our own karmic baggage and emotional issues and whatnot. Um, but there will be a time in the near future, and a lot of us are coming into that now, where we'll, we'll firmly establish our roles in the world and we will be truly enlightened beings, lights um, among a world who's mostly asleep. And they will need to hear our thoughts on things. They'll need to see our, our loving radiance and our, our compassion and our perspective on, on life and whatnot. And there's a, there's a lot of work to be done. And it's, it's awesome. We're going to get to experience it all, man. It's all, it's, all, it's all happening. It's all coming, okay? So hang in there. Go through your process. Do your thing. Follow your intuition. It will never lead you astray. Don't even listen to what I'm saying. You listen to yourself above all else. You are the guru. You are the man. You are the fucking enlightened master.